So there was a decree that came out and said, nobody should pray anymore in the region because they were trying to trap uh, Daniel, set him up, stop his uh, ability or his commitment to serving God. That's how you're going to know the people who love God and those who don't. Some people, the moment they have opportunity not to serve God anymore, they get excited. Oh, finally, there's no prayer today. <laughs> I can go and do some shenanigans, <laughs> as they call it. No, but a person who is committed and devoted to God doesn't want a time off. He looks for every opportunity to serve God. During the pandemic, when churches closed, I thought people would be on the street and protest. We will not agree to stopping the gathering of the saints because we love the gathering of the saints. But amazingly, the people who are the even advocates <laughs> must we gather? <laughs> must we come to church? Something was actually vitally wrong there because even some other people, most of the places where other people are doing some stuff, they still did it. They still gathered where they gathered. Hello, somebody. Yeah, they didn't stop it. So we have to learn some things. The Bible says here, in Daniel chapter 6, are we together? When they, they signed a decree that nobody... Let's read from verse number 4. Then the princes, the president and the princes sought to find occasion against Daniel concerning the kingdom, but they could find none, no occasion of fault, for as much as he was faithful. Somebody say faithful. faithful. Now there was there any error or fault found in him. Then said this man, we shall not find any occasion against this Daniel, except we find it against him concerning the law of his God. My God, may you be somebody like that, Amen. that people will know that you are committed to God, you are dedicated to God, you are giving to God, you have a tie, a loyalty to God. Hallelujah. We, ex we, will not, we shall not find any occasion against this Daniel except we find it against him concerning the law of his God. Many people don't even want the law of God. Grace covers me. <laughs> Jokers in the kingdom. <laughs> Responsibility here. Are we still together? It's so amazing. You know, sometimes when we see people who are serving God and people who are playing church, we can always see the difference. It's in the Bible. I just love things like this. It challenges and encourages and motivates us so we can, we can maintain our stand. Then these presidents and princes, verse 6, assembled together to the king and said unto the king, King Darius, live forever. All the presidents of the kingdom, the governors and the princes, the counselors, the captains have consulted together to establish a royal statue <laughs> and to make a firm decree that whosoever ask a petition of any god or any man for 30 days, save from you. O king, 
It shall be cast into the lion's den. Nobody should make any petition. We are saying to you, King, we are loyal to you. We want to just be connected to you. We want to honor you that nobody should ask anybody, not even God, anything. Nobody should talk to any other God, no king. You are the highest person. You are the most important person. They were peppering the uh, psyche him up, and he fell for it. He said, oh, why not? Now, O king, establish the decree and sign the writing that it, it, that it be not changed according to the law of Medish and Persia, which altereth not. Wherefore, the king signed the writing and the decree. He fell for it. Verse 10 is where we're going that is interesting to us. Now, somebody say now. now. When Daniel knew that the writing was signed, he went into his house. And his windows being opened in his chamber towards Jerusalem, he kneeled down upon his knees three times a day and prayed and gave thanks to thanks before his God as he did aforetime. That's how what he was always doing. So the law and the decree was not going to change his commitment 